Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back today guys to the channel. So now in today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead and sharing with you guys a very helpful glitch slash method here in Forest Rising 4 that will help you with getting your rare cars back or maybe just cars back that you wanted, uh, maybe that you can make a profit off of or something um, from the auction house. So, me and my friends, we've been in parties lately, we've kind of just been uh, going around sniping for some rare cars for like a couple of hours straight. Uh, me, I've been sniping for some twin mills, or like just Hot Wheels cars in general, maybe some Hudson Hornets, and Crown Vicks and stuff like that. So, I managed to get a couple, or a lot kind of, so here, I'm in one right now. I managed to get a pre-order car, I got a limo, you know, just some rare cars. Got, got the Fox Body, got the Crown Vic, and uh, a lot of twin mills as you guys can see and only two hudson hornets and also i did not collect my second uh rip rod but yeah i was just thinking well how i wonder how many of these were put up by accident because i've done that before i've had friends that done that before or that um uh, i just sniped it out from under like maybe one of their friends because i got a bone shaker here which uh it took me a while to get but yeah um so I was just thinking, well, what if they want their cars back? So I know this method slash glitch that you can use to actually get your rare cars back. If they get sniped or maybe you sold it to a friend and it didn't get sniped and you just want it back in your garage as well. It's a very helpful glitch, which I've known for quite a while. So in this case, I'm not going to put up a rare car, but I'm going to put up just maybe like a Mazda Speed MX-5 or something like that. So, um... Yeah, it's a very helpful glitch slash method that I cannot wait to go ahead and share with you guys uh, so you can get your rare cards back or maybe your friends or something. So, yep, as always, if you do go ahead and enjoy this video or find today's video helpful, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with your post notifications on. I post new videos every single day and as well, I, uh, I live stream every other day and I do post notification shoutouts. Today's post notification shoutout goes to someone right there up on the screen thank you for having your post notifications on if you want a post notification shout out all you have to do is just subscribe with your post notifications on leave a like on the video and then tell me in the comments down below it's as easy as that then you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in front of over 4.5k people guys in the next video and uh yeah as well i have my own club here on forza horizon 4 it'll be up on the screen for it it's called drtv jackster tv racers one last thing before I go ahead and operate in today's video um i have my own discord server started not too long ago kind of looking for some more members in it link to that will be in the description down below in case you do want to go ahead and join it it's a very cool discord so yeah i recommend joining it and um yeah i'm currently on the road to 700 members in my club that I, which i just mentioned here a few minutes ago and put up on the screen and everything like that so I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and join that as well. But that'll wrap it up for today's intro. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's video, guys. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps you out, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, guys, so hopping right into this. So I know, like, getting your rare cars sniped and stuff really does suck, or putting them up on accident. That's why I'm going to go ahead and share every single step to it with you guys here in just a moment. The car I'm going to go ahead and use as my rare car uh rare car quote unquote is going to be um this this is mx5 uh, miata because why not so i'm gonna go ahead and put that up for auction let's say it'd be like a pre-order car or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the auction house so this is how it is going to go Mazda. so we're gonna go ahead and auction off this car here and I'm going to just simply text my friend when to buy it out. And then let's say that uh, that would be how the car got sniped if we are doing this with like a Crown Vic or something like that. So hold on. Let me just go ahead and put this up. Shouldn't take too long, guys. Here in just a minute. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. I can text him go. And I'm going to have him buy out my monster. <clears throat> so it shouldn't take too long and it'll give us the notification that he bought it out here in just a moment just to show you guys that he did buy it out so at this point in time you know the car is out of my garage and is up in the auction house so the only Mazda I have is this Mazda Speed MX-5 not the Miata
you know what guys i'll see you guys um once he buys out my car because taking a bit um give me just a second guys he'll buy out the car here in just a couple of minutes i'm not gonna have you guys wait or anything his game ended up crashing at the worst time so yep he'll buy out my car he hasn't bought it out yet or anything like that so i'll see you guys here in just uh a moment because well, for me it would be like i don't know 10 minutes there's quite a long load in for forza so i'll see you guys here in just uh, a couple of seconds all right guys so about five minutes later here we go going into my auctions he has just bought it out so yeah so let's just say this so if it's with a rare car or like an expensive car the expensive car might not be bought out but uh so let's say in this instance because probably the only car the only reason you want a car back is if it was rare so and if it was expensive then you just want the money out of it so this is how it's gonna go so we're basically gonna make the game think that this auction never happened and we'll get the car back um in our garage it's super quick and easy guys so let's say so this car just got bought out so let's say it's a rare one the thing you're gonna want to go ahead and do hit your pause menu it's, so this is on xbox uh people have informed me i've shared different ways to do this but people have informed me that this is on pc as well so if you're on pc you're going to want to go ahead and delete your save game data. If you know how, don't risk it. Don't delete, like, the entire game. I'm just saying if you do know how to maybe delete your save game data on Forza on PC, then go for it. But this is how it's going to go on Xbox. Uh, most of you guys are on Xbox, but, yeah, there it is. It's sold. So, um, so you're going to want to go ahead, hit your Xbox pause menu, select Forza Horizon 4, hit the button three lines on it, uh, which is game options. Go down to manage game and add-ons select that and then simply go down to saved data you'll have all your accounts here guys you'll uh you have you'll have all your accounts here so the account that you are signed into and you're using and you just like put the car up and it got sniped in whatever case or maybe like a friend bought out or something either way just the way you get your car back is the account that you just used to put the car up and whatever you're going to want to go ahead and select that account and click on delete from console if you click on delete from everywhere it'll it will literally delete your entire uh, everything you've done in forza guys so make sure to be careful and click on delete from console don't be too fast guys i did this with a subscriber when he was selling me some rare cars i was selling him some rare cars back and forth we were kind of just trading and he clicked on delete from everywhere on accident when he was trying to get his cars back and we were just kind of doing it back and forth so i need to inform you guys to just click on delete from console and to do it twice otherwise the glitch will not work and you're kind of just wasting your time so boom and then your account will no longer be there so then it will just be whatever other accounts and not the account that you were just playing forza on now you want to simply back out by pressing b well, that just put me to YouTube, and then, but never mind. You're gonna want to go ahead and just a uh, little backup Forza. It'll automatically qu uh, quit since you just deleted your save game data. So that's how it's gonna go. Load back up Forza, and you will have the car back in your garage. It's as easy as that. This is a super helpful glitch. It's helped me out in times. You can do this about one or two days later, I think someone said, but not three days. Otherwise, you're kind of just wasting your time. But it's something like that, guys. So. Uh, so you guys want some load back in just to show you guys that the car is there uh, But that's basically it for the whole main part of the glitch uh, Use this on PC at your own risk. I have no clue how you do it on PC P But people in the comments of uh, video showing how you can duplicate cars and stuff like that We're saying like what because they're showing a similar way to do this They're saying it does work on PC uh, Just go ahead and go into game files and whatever and delete them. So you know what? If you know how to do it and you know what you're doing on PC, I'm not saying to go do it. I'm just going to leave it at you can do it on PC, but I say I recommend doing it if you know how to do it on PC. So, oh, by the way, guys, if you are on Xbox, wait for your data to sync. It's a super uh, quick and easy process. You're going to want to do that. Uh, don't click on cancel, otherwise you will lose all your game data. That's another thing. So, wait for it to sync up. As you guys can see, it's going extremely quickly. But that, I'll see you guys once I'm loaded back in. Alright guys, so here I am. I'm now just loaded back up into Forza. So, this is how it's going to go. So, you just uh, put the car up for auction. You let it get sniped or you just sold it to a friend. Either way, you lost the car. So now, so then the second thing you did, so let's say you just lost the car. 
you know, you delete save game data, you load back up Forza, and you will find that whatever car that was uh, put up for auction is back in your garage, guys. So here it is, the exact same car, didn't buy another one, it's the same tune and everything. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. My auctions. And boom. The car is still there. So you can get free money out of that, guys. So, if you let your car get bought out, you can just delete your save game data, put it back in your garage, and get free money out of it by just uh, collecting the credits. So, it's pretty sweet and super helpful. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like down below if you did. Subscribe to post notifications on if you want to see more daily content from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.